I'm making my orange juice challah, which is slightly sweet and super soft. It is pillowy enough to take a nap on. To get started, I'm gonna combine all of my dry ingredients into a big bowl. I'm gonna add six cups of all-purpose flour. I'll add a quarter cup of sugar. It's just the right amount of sweetness. Two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And lastly, the zest of one orange. And this bread is based on this sandwich bread that my mom would make when I was growing up. It was this soft white sandwich bread that just had a little something extra, and that was from the secret ingredient, orange. Okay, always this to combine. And I'll set this aside and mix up my wet ingredients. So I'll start with one cup of warm water. I'll add two thirds of a cup of neutral oil. Next time I'm gonna squeeze in half a cup of fresh orange juice. And lastly, I'll grab my eggs. A defining feature of hala is that it has eggs. It makes it really rich. I'll mix this right up, pour the wet into the dry, and stir until it forms a shaggy dough. My dough has come together. It's really shaggy. I'm gonna turn it out onto my counter and knead it until it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna press it with my palm, fold it over onto itself, rotate it a little bit, press it again, fold it, rotate, and just keep on doing that for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Now, one way that I like to test to see if I've kneaded it enough is to do this thing called the window pane test. When you rip off a little piece of dough and then you stretch it so thin that you can see light shining through. And I'm not seeing any tearing in the dough. That's how you know you've kneaded enough. All right, I'm gonna gather this dough into a ball. I'll grab a clean bowl. I'll add a drizzle of oil so it doesn't stick. I'll place the dough in top side down, smush it around to get it completely coated in the oil. I'll flip it over, cover it with a towel, and then I'll let this rise for one to two hours until it's doubled in size. My dough has risen and now it's time to shape. This part is really fun because hala is traditionally braided and it's just like braiding hair. So I'm gonna divide this in half and I'll make two loaves. And then with this half, I'm going to first divide it into three, which will be the three strands of the braid. And now to shape into my logs for braiding. I'll give this a few rolls, and I want the ends to be tapered. It'll give the loaf a really pretty shape. Time to braid. So I'm gonna arrange the logs so that they are perpendicular to me, and I'll pinch them at the top. And then I'm gonna start with one side and gently carry it over to the center, and then go to the other side and then keep on going, alternating back and forth to get that really pretty braided shape. This is so pretty. And then I'll transfer it to my baking sheet that's lined with parchment. I'll shape my other loaf and then let them proof for about 30 minutes. These loaves are puffy and pristine. The last thing they need is an egg wash. And this is just an egg beaten with a splash of water. This will help the tops get shiny and a sprinkle of poppy seeds will be really pretty. These look awesome. They're gonna go in the oven at 375 degrees for about 28 minutes until they're golden brown. I cannot wait to tear off a huge hunk. Mmm, smells like hot bread in here. I'm gonna check on my challah. Ooh, these are beautiful. All right, now there is truly no better bite in the world than freshly baked challah. I do this every time. It's gonna be hot, and it's gonna be worth it. Mm. It's soft, it's eggy, it is the perfect amount of sweet. Holla!